Well, we're outside here today in the uh, rather chilly winter air. There's me. Cheers. So, this little car, which has been for its MOT and got a couple of things it needs sorted out, which may or may not be terminal, but one of the jobs that needs to be done is the replacement of this door handle. So, through the Suzuki Alto Owners Club, I think it's called, on Facebook, I managed to source this little number from a chap called Adam. So, this one is actually for the later series, I think the 2009 through 2014 or something, Suzuki Alto. Uh, I've got the old clip from the broken one, just in case that's different. It does look slightly different, but it probably does the same function. So, yeah, it's very similar, but it might be that I need to pop, pop this one out of there and replace that one here. But anyway, so far, it looks broadly similar. I've done a quick check to see. Looks like the holes pretty much line up. The handle will fit in there. The only difference I would say is this is smooth. Obviously this is in pretty crappy condition. Oh, well, actually, I suppose this was smooth originally as well, but it just, it just looks slightly, slightly different. But anyway, I put the two handles together. You can see they're the same size. Essentially look the same, slightly different colour, obviously. Uh, the original ones are more black, this one's more sort of greyish, but it could just be sun that's done that. So anyway, how do you change it? This is the question. Inside, it's all pretty straightforward. The first thing I would recommend is to unscrew the door lock knob. I'll put that down inside the car. Then you have to take the Phillips screw out from the door escutcheon. And then there's one in the, the handle to close the door. Another Phillips in there. And then the best thing to do for the window winder is to get a, a piece of cloth or an old sock. And I'll try and demonstrate that. So, so you've got this, you've got that, you've got this, and you've got the winder. So once you've done that, you're pretty much on the home straight. But this is going to be the most tricky thing, but it's not difficult. It'll be kind of difficult to show you. Uh, with one hand plus holding the camera, uh, can I see it? Right, there's a clip that's kind of like an omega shape that holds this on. Now, I found an old sock that the dog's been chewing. I'm going to slide that down and once it catches, I'm going to show you what to do. Well, that was handy. I thought I'd be very clever. I thought I would uh, get the get the sock between this plastic piece and the handle and then I would just catch it but anyway as I caught it it came off straight away so basically you've got your little clip where the hell is the sock you're gonna slide your sock down or, or a piece of cloth whatever you want so the handle's gonna be here I'll take the handle off You're obviously not going to see the clip, but you're going to have your handle like that. And then you're just going to look for where that tail is. And then this tail will get caught in the cloth. And then when you pull it, it'll just basically pull it out of these grooves. You see there? I'll stop a second. I'll put this back together how it should be. So that's what it's going to look like in the door. 
And all you're doing is you're putting the sock down so that it catches the clip. And when you catch the clip, it'll pull it, you see, and it'll come out. And then this clip will come off. So when you do that, just be careful what you do, because obviously you don't want to end up losing this clip. So anyway, that's the most difficult part. <clears throat> taking the screw out here, and taking the screw out there, that's not exactly rocket science, so that should be easy to do. Alright, so I've undone the screw there, I've taken it out, you just lift that up. The, uh, the door panel is basically held in place by these bits that protrude, so they go down into the door panel and then when you screw it on, it stops the uh, panel moving in and out, so that's easy. This bit, you just kind of pull it, and again, it's not the easiest thing to do with uh, only one hand. I have to get a screwdriver, I think. Oh, I've just dropped the screw. So, oh, there we go. There's a the screw there. So, I just managed to drop the screw there. But anyway, that's the screw. I'll chuck that on the floor. And then this kind of comes to the side. And you can wiggle it through and out. But, I mean, I need, I need to use two hands to do this. But to get the door panel off, just get your fingers in, start tugging. Again, this is so much easier when you don't have to hold the camera. So, that's off. Now when you lift this up, this part here goes into the door frame. So you just lift it off that, and that's it pretty much loose. Now, once you've done that, you just basically twist the door panel and that comes through, back into the car. So, this stuff needs to pull, get pulled down slightly, there we go. On a hot day this stuff will be as sticky as hell. So this is the mechanism here. Now you can see what I did, I put a cable tie on so that I could pull that down and that that action there is what opens the door. So I now need to take off this cable tie. So if you ever need to make an emergency door handle for a Suzuki Alto or other Suzukis I would imagine, that's all you need. Cable tie and then Put it onto the end there and stick it through and then you just pull it down and it opens the door. Right, so next thing is the uh, the door handle. Okay, so we're out, outside the car again and dropping the bloody door handle. So, that's going to go in there. Well, it would if I had three arms. There we go, that's in. That's in there. And then, if we come round to the other side, you will see there's the two threads. So I'm going to put two uh, nuts onto there. I'll need to use my hands for that, obviously. So I've not tightened everything up, but that's the two 10mm uh, nuts. That's what the door looks like. Handles. Seems to be moving just the same as the other one. So the next thing. Somebody's peeping the horn. Oh, it's ball. <laughs> um, in here right so I'm putting it up out the way and then hopefully it's a bit trickier than I thought wonder if I think I'm gonna need to have two possibly have two hands to get 
Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Right, so I've pushed that in, so it goes in at an angle as you can see. Now I'm going to see if I can fold this back down. No, oh, bollocks. No, I'm definitely going to have to use two hands. But basically you're going to put put the angled, the 90 degree angled piece into this uh, bracket and then you're going to fold down the white bit on top to, to lock it in place. So I'm going to have to use two hands. It's actually quite easy. <clears throat> I put my left hand behind there and then I'll use my right finger to bring it down and snap it on so <clears throat> it looks like I don't need to worry about uh, changing the uh, the plastic insert <clears throat> so I'll just put this waterproof stuff back on and uh, let's see what the proof of the pudding is like so the door's shut there's no editing involved here this is the first time door opens fine. Uh, I've still to tighten this down properly, this handle. I've not... Uh I was running out of storage space on my phone. So that's it fitted. Works fine. I've still to uh, torque up the nuts, uh, whatever the hell they are. Uh, anyway, why can't I see it? Uh, there we go. I've still got to torque these nuts up, but that's how you do it. And then reassembly is pretty much the reverse of what I showed you. I can do.